Hi guys, I've got these pop pop snots for you. So I'm gonna open them on camera. It's the same as the pop pop pets that I did before. Except they're the snot version. I'm gonna be needing that in a second as I learned last time. There we are. One more to come out of this pack. So that's the one, as you can see, with the figure in it. Always seems to be the bottom one. I thought I'd find away the wrong bit then. There we go. One. We should have six in total. So I am just going to grab that sheet in just a second. And again, I think the figure is in that one. I'm just going to grab this just in case I need it. I don't know if they're going to be different. I think they were on the pets. Here we go. It's so sticky. How many of you guys have done these before? Uh, or have you done the pets? That's so satisfying though. The green slime is a lot sort of waterier and stickier than the yellow is. There we go. Let's do one with a snot figure in it. There we are. And I'll show you what we got at the end figure wise. Oh, he's all covered in goo. And for anyone wondering where I found these, these were off eBay. You can get the pets version in the pound shop. Oh, look, it's so cute. It looks like a little dinosaur. We'll put him there for now. Just empty out the rest of this slime. Don't waste anything in this household. Except from our time. There we are. Two more to go. Listen to this sound. Just as I say listen to it, it doesn't make the popping sound. That's so satisfying now. So here's the last one. Woo, got a nice pop off that. And the last figure. Here's the figure. He is holding a little rubber ring. He looks like a looks like he's got a six pack on him. Here we are, the rest of the slime. Before I show you what figures are, I'm just going to mix the slime for anyone that's a bit of a gloopy slime fan out there. Oh, this one's a different texture from the, um, the pets one, the pink and purple one. Now, I do have a cat in the background, so I must do my best not to get near her with these slimy fingers. She has very long fur and I'm sure she would not appreciate it. Don't worry, we don't abuse our cats in this household. Right, so once I've got all the slime off, I'm going to move that to the side. Open up our little leaflet. Ah! Wow. Well, that was a fail. So we'll open up this one instead. Hopefully they'll both be on there. So here's, sorry guys, here's the leaflet. I'm just going to lift it up for a second. The first one is very easy to find. Oh, as I say that, I thought it was this guy, but he's got a red tummy. So is it not that guy? Let's just see if I can find him on this sheet. Same sheet. So guys, I'm going to need your help for this one, honestly. Because he looks like this one, which is a common. And he's short-handed from the fossil fungus. Except mine doesn't have the red tummy. So, any anyone, any ideas? Because he doesn't seem to appear anywhere else on the sheet, as far as I can tell. 
Ah, oh, that's the remainder of the last sheet. We'll just double check. Like both of those are the same. Anyway, we'll move on to the next figure. It's like an alien slash strong man. So let's have a look if we can find him. I'm quite slow at finding these, I must admit. What's he holding? He's holding a rubber ring. Now, I think it's probably this guy. Looks like he's got sunglasses, but he does look slightly different once again. And that's a blotch job. He's a common. And his name's Sandy Puke. Of all the names. And again, I can't see him anywhere else on the sheet. Someone please correct me in the comments. But for some reason, they definitely look slightly different than they do on the sheet. So that's the two. Thanks for watching. Bye.